think I was cool enough to be alive anymore. Which, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's kind of dark. But, you know, <laughs> Will was like, yeah, my school didn't think I was cool enough to be alive. And so, he's told Al, my school decided to go to an amusement park, but the thing is, it wasn't working. So they stuck me on a roller coaster and got me to the top of the track. I went all the way down and there were no rails at the end, so I just crashed into the ground at 60 miles per hour. <laughs> but on the plus side, I didn't feel anything because it was so quick. <laughs> Alice was just like, that's brutal. And Will's like, yep, I know. I was like, here, I have a suggestion for you of how you can get your life back, potentially. And uh, I think, Sydney, do you remember what that suggestion was? Actually, so basically the suggestion was to get revenge. So, Will was like, you're right, that's a good idea. So I'm going to get revenge. So, the plan's secret plan. So we're going to kill him in secret until we get up. So we got it all in. What they needed. They needed a spoon, a fork, a knife, <laughs> sports. <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot of utensils. <laughs> so they grabbed all their utensils and they placed them. Placed them. I do actually. <laughs> so they all placed them in a little tiny box. They put it right there. Right there, there, it's all on tables. Right here, right here, right here, right here, all over. And they also got chairs. They push the chair here, 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 and you get that. <laughs> then, so Will, he calls up all those people in the school, tells them he has a surprise for them. It's cake. School loves cake. <laughs> We're crazy about cake. So, Will invites everyone down. They all sit down, nice and neat. And they start eating the cake, right? And then, you know, 10 seconds later, they start to feel something a little weird. I'm not sure what they feel. I think Grace knows this one. Yeah, absolutely. So they start to basically feel this, this, this bubble. Normally you might you might feel it in your stomach, but they started to feel it in their ears. <laughs> it was really it was really odd to them. So you know they're, they're and the, you know, blow, let their nose blow, like maybe they need to pop it or something, and it's, it's not really working. So they're thinking, well, you know, I, I like cake, so let me just keep eating it, maybe it will go away. Um, and so they keep eating the cake, and it's getting worse and worse, and all of a sudden, can you, you remember what happens right that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so after this, their ears just pop. Their eardrums gone. Nope, they're just nope. They just cease to exist. So their eardrums are just gone at this point. So after their eardrums are gone, they're trying to communicate based on what happened. But you know, you need eardrums to hear. So they're trying to yell, "Will, what's going on?" Will's like, "What?" And it just keeps going back and back and forth. And they just can't communicate at all. It's just a disaster. But there was a doctor. A doctor came. He's like, "I know how to fix your guys' eardrums." I think Julian knows what happened after that. <laughs> so it was pretty simple. Something was not mentioned. The whole school also conveniently, or well, not so conveniently, had a dairy allergy. Every single one of those students. <laughs> <laughs> so the doctor knew this. And with that information, he figured to get rid of the cake, first of all. And then take out the special machine, and the machine also conveniently removes all dairy from said student. <laughs> <laughs> and so he begins his plan. There's, there's a lot of students, but only one little machine. So he had to select a few. <laughs> anyway, he, he saved a couple, and they're all happy and healthy. Except the, mach the machine stopped working. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so the machine stopped working. What are we gonna do? All these people are eating cake and their ear jumps are not working. They all talked out. <laughs> um, so, what are we gonna do? The doctor goes, hey, I got a friend. She name's Grim Reaper. <laughs> Children are like, I've heard of that before. My parents told me a story about the Green Reaper. They kill people. Oh. Yeah, I mean, like, if the Green Reaper would kill you, maybe you would have your hurry back. And you're like, oh. <laughs>
like, well, there's also one other choice for you. You can go down this, this quest to find this magical berry to get your hearing back. But is it, it is a dangerous quest. And there's no cake, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so that's what you need to do. So they go on this adventure. They're going down this path. Remember, you're following them, just to make sure. And, and then they find this, this view going across the land. And, well, I forgot what they saw. Do you, do you remember exactly what they see? Of course. <laughs> so they're going on this quest, trying to get their hearing back. You know, some of them have got their hearing back, but there's the select few that the machine stopped working. So, you know, three or four or ten guys <laughs> can't hear anything. So, you know, a lot of them are, are really clinging on to the person in front of them. They're walking by, and then they see this view, and they stop, and they stare at this amazing view of, of the sunset over the mountains. They're like, wow, that's something. And then, as they're watching and the rest of them are going on, they just keep staring. They don't hear them calling to them about the floor underneath them collapsing because they, they, they were on a canyon side and they just fell into the canyon and they started falling, falling, and falling. And falling and falling and falling and falling, <laughs> and then they reach the bottom, and Al and Will are like looking over the canyon, like, well, I guess we could have just started with that. I don't know about it. <laughs> 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 Classic surgeons. Haunted house. 
really neat. My father taught me. It's more of like a my bad. You know, every time the paperwork can't really show us. I mean, like the, nobody really cares that much. It's just a fix. So just start. Just start. We'll just go for it. All right. It's kind of like a it's like the connect the dots, but it's just. Sure. All right. Uh, all right. I'm gonna. Wow. Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> you do the flower, I'll braid their hair. If the flowers don't look good, it'll look so pretty. Look so pretty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Three of us. Wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> Three. Wrong way. 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 Okay, 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 you okay? Yeah, you're gonna be fine. Okay, okay. 
I told him last time you were That's probably a good time to pause it. I heard something about the Cheetah Revolution. Yeah, did you know it happened between 1999 and 2000? There's a secret year that happened. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> everyone remembers the Cheetah Revolution. I know, those are Especially like that part where it got bigger. Like, I don't remember hearing about this when I was born, but who knows? <laughs> you do. Yeah, you've never seen the documentary. But I remember this happened. But you remember. Real story. Well, what do you remember happened next? What happened after? What happened after? If, if it, the documentary is true, to its source material, <laughs> is that the Jesus then figure out that it's not worth running the factory, and they go ahead and get rid of all the humans. They get rid of the humans? <laughs> I mean, if you got it queued up, why, why don't you go play it? Okay. <laughs> yes, this is our factory now. We got this. Yes, yes, oh, yes. This is, this is our factory. <laughs> It's our factory now! Yeah. I love this! Oh, what's the next plan of operation, I, boss? I... I don't know. <laughs> That's a fair point. Alright, uh... I think, I, I think we should ask our moms. I mean, right. I'm not talking about it. Yeah, you got your... Wait, we don't have moms. Oh, yeah. Who are we gonna ask? What about that guy? That guy? He's got a nice mustache. Let's ask him, too. Alright, so here's the thing. You know, I don't really appreciate being held hostage by the, the Cheez-Its. Um, you know, I respect your your uh, organization, but, you know, could you just let us go for the day? We've been here for, like, four years now. Four and years. we haven't been able to leave, you know, but we just, like... Well, like, four years is, like, equivalent to ten months, which is, yeah. like, equivalent to, like, eight months, which is, like, equivalent to, like, a couple days, you know? Yeah. Like, if you, like, the math works out. So, like, it's not that long. Yeah, I was trying so, like, to yeah. I just lost track. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I think it's just, like, you know... Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah okay. okay. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, well, you, you're okay then? Yeah. I, uh, well, I, it, well, what do we do? I don't know how to run a factory. You know what, I think we've had enough of the humans. You know we what? We don't need them anymore. Yeah, I don't think we need them anymore either. I don't really want to run the factory, but like, you know, humans, man. I mean, they've been wasting our planet anyway. It's yeah. fine. But, uh, yeah, let's. Alright, humans, we kind of have to leave. We kind of have to leave this earth. Yeah, let's go. We need out to see. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a couple of millennia. No, a couple of millennia is overdue. Okay. Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. How are we going to do it? How are we going to do it? Yeah. We're going to say that a meteor is going to hit the Earth, right? Yeah. And then a meteor is going to hit the Earth, right? It's just going to yeah. happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And just... Ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. All humans, there's going to be a meteor hitting the Earth, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> Yeah, there's gonna be a meteor. See, look, it's happening right now. Look at yeah, that. see, look at that. Ball. Yeah, it's coming <laughs> right here. Boom. Just, just, just boom. Like, yeah, like that. Like, just boom. like that. On contact. Done so. You're done so. Alright. Why, why, why? I, get, I think. Yeah, I think it's. Well, like, five minutes is like almost equivalent to five seconds. So yeah, that's like, true. It should be in a couple That is true. Alright, alright. Right. One, two, two, three. Wait, what's after three? <laughs> wait, 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 is it four? I don't right, know, wait, wait, wait. I don't know. Two, I, I still don't know. Is that four? I think it's four. Okay, yeah, okay. All right, All right three, <laughs> four. Start from one. All right, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three. Wait. Four, four, four five. Why, why?
Kaylee, Zach, and Dina. Okay, in Actors Worst Nightmare, um, one of an actor's worst nightmares is getting on stage and not knowing any of their lines. So in this game, there'll be one person with a script, and they can only get the words that they say from the specific script. The other two people don't have lines and are kind of improv off of the person with the script. Um, so for this, can we get a page for them to start off on? Okay, uh, she will just need a few seconds to try to find the line to start up on, and then we'll get this scene started. This is not a date about 
Maybe if I get hit in the head really hard with a basketball, I can just yeah, that's the best part. Something will come over me. Maybe, <laughs> I guess, that's something. Yeah, I mean, there's totally a bunch of different sports you can get into. I'm going to be like basketball, as you can tell from where we are. Um, so, what other kind of sports are you looking at? I can turn through all the ropes. Uh, how about something else I could get hit in the head with? The uh, volleyball. Oh, the volleyball. And, you know, I don't really know much about that sport. Apparently, there's balls involved. But, um, yeah, what else are you looking for at the menu? There's lots of things I think you would like, you know? There's the slam dunk cheeseburger, man. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's dunked in. What of the players? <laughs> <laughs>
Easy. Should have said. Should. It's fantastic. Thank you. But um, I'm not really into business. I don't know how to like sell things with money. I don't know. We can help you. We can help you. We sure can. You guys do business. Should have said. You guys went to business.
with Jim, Zach, Kyle, Um, in Panel Experts, there is one host who is running a game show, and all the experts are from different walks of life. Um, and those walks of life will be suggestions from the audience. So, Kyle spent years studying. Um, from the 
audience. From the, 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 the say words and then I'll What's your favorite movie? Uh, more than the band. <laughs> What's your favorite school subject? Like Taylor Swift. I never had to in the first place. I, I only live for Taylor Swift. You don't need to keep digging yourself 
it all, but what? <laughs> but if I were to find a real life, I'm pretty sure I would have passion. Yes, yes, it would. <laughs> Oh, you, you want to sign? Yes, please, if it, if it gives me $5,000 more. Dollars. <laughs> 